Hello, football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here again with picks. More picks, just what you need in your life. I'm here with more football picks. A couple of announcements to, well, maybe one, really one announcement. And that is that I got a new shipment of helmets in. They are smaller than the usual helmets, but they're updated to be what the current helmets are. So I don't have to turn the redskin helmet facing forward anymore. And I, um, and there are several other teams who have changed their helmets since the, the crop that I had. Now, the ones that I had were bigger. That was uh, an advantage. And these ones are very small, but I think you can still see them. Maybe if you squint, you can still see them. So that's one announcement. And the other announcement is because of my schedule and, uh, you know, how things are going to work out, I am recording this before Monday Night Football is played. And as you will recall, I took the Chargers to beat the Broncos on Monday night. So my record for week six depends on the outcome of that game. If the Broncos win, then I would end up a very disappointing, well, really either one is disappointing, but I would end up a more disappointing seven and seven on the week because there was only 14 games and there will be probably for a while with all the buys. But if the Chargers win, the team that I picked to win on Monday night, I will be eight and six. So it's up to you to figure out as you're watching this who won and what my real record was. It was either eight and six or seven and seven. And again, I was plagued in week six by many upsets. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. Uh, the Jets beating the Packers, the Falcons beating the, uh, the Buccaneers, uh, there was a couple of others thrown in there. The Colts beating, really, let's face it, whoever they played would have been an upset. If they played my high school, it would have been an upset. So, um, yeah, there were several upsets that threw me off this week. So I'm either just seven and seven or eight and six, and eight and six is not even that nothing to write home about. Let's let's face it. But that'll get us into the picks for this week, which will start with Thursday night football on my birthday, October 20th. And that game will be the Saints at the Cardinals. Now, see what I'm saying? These are small, smaller helmets. And really, these two didn't even really need replacing because I had these. I had the updated versions of these. But anyway... Uh, in this game, the Cardinals are at home. The two and four Cardinals facing off against the two and four Saints, but the Cardinals are at home, and I am going to go with the Cardinals. Look at that nice Cardinal helmet, and there it is. So we're going to go with the Cardinals there. The Saints, they're still a crap team. So uh, we're going <laughs> to. I don't know if the Cardinals really are. I mean, they might be, but we're going to say the Cardinals will win that one. First game for Sunday, you got the 3-3 three and three Packers going up against the 2-4 and four Washington Commanders. You see what I'm saying? I can show the Commanders helmet now. Um, and in this game, even though the Commanders are at home, and even though Green Bay looked really horrible against the Jets, I, again, I got to think that they're going to beat the Commanders. So we're going to go with the Pack. Let's go with the Pack to beat the Commanders in Washington. And again, the Commanders, no, Commanders aren't good. Next game you got is the... Browns and the Ravens, and the Ravens lost last week to the Giants. Now, luckily, that was one of the games I was ready for and prepared to pick the winning team, and that was the Giants. 
the Ravens, they just didn't, you know, quote the Ravens nevermore. Well, nevermore are we going to beat a team like the Giants. But you're going up against the Browns here, and they still don't have um, Deshaun Watson. They won't until like week 13. So um, I'm a glutton for punishment, but this game is in Baltimore. And so I am going to go with the Ravens. Let's pick the Ravens there. Ravens over the Browns. Next game you've got is another upsetting team, and that was the Buccaneers. The Tom Brady, the TB12 Buccaneers against the very disappointing Panthers. And the uh, Panthers also traded wide receiver Robbie Anderson to the aforementioned Cardinals. So that was another reason to pick the Cardinals, perhaps. And another reason why I am going to take the Buccaneers, even though they look like crap so far this year. I'm going to take the Buccaneers over the uh, Carolina Panthers. The next game is the Falcons and the Bengals. Now, really, neither of these teams looks all that great. And um, the uh, Bengals. Uh, you know, by, I mean, the, I mean, the Falcons are three and three and the, and the, um, Bengals are also three and three and the Bengals are on the road, but I'm still going to go with the Bengals. We're going to take the Bengals to beat the, uh, to beat the Falcons in Atlanta. I mean, they're the defending, uh, AFC champions. They were in the Super Bowl, and they're going up against the Falcons, who aren't that good, but who did still manage to win last week against the Buccaneers somehow. Next game we got is the Lions. The Lions off a bye, taking on Dallas, who lost to the Eagles' juggernaut, and it isn't a juggernaut. However, the uh, Eagles are on a bye this week, so that's not an easy, you know, that's not an easy win for me there. But we are going to go in this game with the Cowboys. The Cowboys are at home, and even though the uh, even though the Lions have had a, a week to rest, they are still one and four, and Dallas is four and two. And I don't care whether they're starting. Uh, Cooper Rush at quarterback, or whether Dak is ready, it doesn't matter. I think they'll beat Detroit. The next game you've got is the Giants and the Jags. And uh, uh, again, you know what? I'm going with the Giants. We just got to go with the Giants here, take it and run with it, because the Giants look like a, they're, they're, a, they're a tough team. They're going to beat you down. They're going to wear you down, beat you down. They don't have the great, like, their quarterback is not a great star quarterback, but they're going to beat you down. The Jags, they're still not there. I, I thought they were turning a corner. It turns out they turned the corner and just got hit in the face. So they're not really quite there yet. The next game we have is the... Colts and the Titans, and uh, this with this game, the Titans are th come in uh, three and two, and the uh, or no, not three and two. No, they can't be three and two. I don't. Oh, maybe they are. Yeah, they were off last week. So the Titans are three and two, and the Colts are three two and one. And the Colts, I I still think the Colts are a terrible team. So I'm going to go with the Titans. Let's take the Titans. And you can see I've got the new Titan helmet. I don't have the old white one. So we're going to go with the Titans over the Colts. Yeah. Get the Colts out of here. Terrible team. Next one we have is the uh, Texans and the Raiders. This one I think is kind of a no-brainer. We're going to go with the Raiders. Let's take the Raiders, even though the Raiders only have a win. And the, uh, well, so do the Texans. The Texans are 1-3-1, and one, and the Raiders are 1-4. and four, But I'm going with the Raiders in that one. The next one is the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. And you can see I got the new Jets helmet. And uh, they're going up against the Broncos. 
Broncos. And the, um, the Broncos are the home team. The game is in Denver. But guess what? We're going with the Jets. We're not throwing the Jets helmet anymore because the Jets, first of all, this is a new helmet. But second of all, the Jets are a better team and they, they're they a better team than they were. And they're certainly, I think, a better team than the, uh, than the Broncos are. So the next one you've got is the Chiefs and the 49ers. Now, this is a Super Bowl. This is a former Super Bowl matchup, I believe. And uh, you got the Chiefs who lost to the Bills last week. But, hey, and I, by the way, I called that one, too. But, you know, I mean, it, I said it was a toss-up, and I picked the Bills, and I picked right. But the Bills are beating up on everybody, really. And you've got the uh, the Chiefs are four and two, the 49ers are three and three, and the 49ers I think were another team. No, the 49ers beat the Falcons. That's right. It wasn't, or the the Falcons beat the 49ers. It wasn't that the Falcons beat Tampa Bay. Somebody else that shouldn't have beaten Tampa Bay beat Tampa Bay. But still, this was bad, and so we're gonna go with. Kansas City, I'm taking Kansas City in this Super Bowl rematch over the 49ers. Get the 49ers out of here. They killed me last week. They should have beaten the Falcons. I don't know why they didn't. Next one you got is the Seahawks and the Chargers. Seahawks, Chargers. The Seahawks are like Jekyll and Hyde. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. One week they're a great team and they beat somebody you didn't think they should beat which is really any team in the NFL. And then other weeks they lose and, you know, and you're like, okay, well, I wish you would have told me that that version of the team was going to show up. So I don't really know what version of the team is going to show up here, but I'm inclined to say I'm going to take the Chargers. And again, this is without having seen the Monday night game where the Chargers are playing the Broncos. So I don't know if anybody gets injured in that game, and I don't really know, but I'm, you know, it's one game. I'm going to pick it. I'm going to say the Chargers should win, and they should. The next game we have is the, and this is going to be the Sunday night. I believe this is the Sunday night game, and this is going to be the Steelers and the Dolphins. And in this game, I am going to go with the Steelers. The Steelers had a big win. This was the other, this was one of the other upsets. The Steelers won last week in a game that I was like, no way the Steelers should be winning this game. And they did. And the Dolphins, it, the Dolphins are, are, they're a crazy, it's a crazy team. Because if they have Tua, they're great. If they have Tua, they're great. Without Tua, minus Tua, they're terrible. I, I've never seen, like, you would think that there's some kind of team concept that comes into play and a team is still either good or bad, maybe by a lesser degree without their quarterback or with their quarterback. But no, this is like a tale of two cities. It's either terrible without Tua or great with Tua. So, yeah, and, they, and I'm not planning on them having Tua. Maybe not for the rest of the season. And now our last Super Bowl matchup, and this is a Monday night game, and I have no idea why. You have the Patriots against the Bears. Now, in the real Super Bowl, the Patriots destroyed the Bears. No, that did not happen. <laughs> it was the other way around. The Bears destroyed the Patriots. But this time, it is going to be the other way around, and the Patriots are going to destroy the Bears. I think the Patriots win big in this game. If uh, I don't care what the spread is, because it'll change 16 times between now and Monday anyway, next Monday anyway. But um, I think you, you take the points because the Bears were terrible. They were very disappointing and they were terrible. They were five, three times inside the five yard line and they couldn't score. So those are my picks with my new helmets. How did you guys like that? Um, you want me to bring back the big ones, even though they're outdated, some of them? I don't know. 
But anyway, that uh, those are my picks. Leave it in the comments who you would pick. Who do you differ with me on? Who do you agree with me on? What do you like about my picks? What don't you like about some of the picks? Um, you know, whatever. You leave a comment and say, I hate you, Sportsman Z. That's fine because, hey, I just want comments. It makes the video go, you know, it blows it up a little bit more than it otherwise would. Last week's got 418 views, so I'll take it. But other than that, it's gonna, that's going to be it for me for this week and my picks. And that's Sportsman Z over and out.